Hey guys, happy Monday. Hope you all had a great weekend. I'm here for another read aloud, and today I'm doing Kamala and Maya's Big Idea. So I read a story about our new president, Joe Biden, in January. And this is a story about our new vice president, Kamala Harris, and her sister. So I want you to think, what is the author trying to teach you? The author trying to teach you a couple things. What do you think? You know what? You know what should be out there? Kamala asked her sister Maya. Us, said Maya. A slide, said Kamala. And a swing, Maya added. And a playground, they shouted together. Kamala and Maya had an idea. It was a very good idea. And a very big idea. They were going to need help. Wouldn't it be great if there was a playground in the courtyard, Maya said. That does sound nice, Mommy agreed. But can we make that happen, Kamala asked. Well, I suppose the first step would be to ask the landlord, the person who owns the building. So Kamala wrote a letter and Maya drew a picture. And they went to see the landlord to discuss their idea. The landlord thought about it for less than a second. Hmm, I don't think so, no. That was not the answer they wanted, but they weren't ready to give up. That night, the sisters tried to think of ways to turn a no into a yes. They asked the other kids in the building if they wanted a playground in the courtyard. Did they? Of course they did. And they had ideas too. Let's have a teeter-totter and a basketball hoop and flowers. So Kamala wrote a longer letter and they went to see the landlord together. Dear landlord, right now the courtyard of our building is empty and no one uses it. If there were swings, kids could fly high. If there was a sandbox, kids could build. If there was a slide, kids could go far so fast. Can you build it, please? The landlord thought about it for less than five seconds. A project this big is expensive. We don't have the money for that. Do, you, do your parents know you're here? This was not the answer they wanted. But Kamala was not ready to give up. If we ask our parents and do it all ourselves, can we fix up the courtyard? The landlord thought about that for a whole ten seconds. Finally, he shrugged. If you do it yourselves, sure. That wasn't exactly the answer they wanted, but it was a start. The kids all spoke to their parents about their ideas for the courtyard. They hung up posters and knocked on neighbors' doors. But they got the same answers for everyone. I'm sorry. Wow, that was a big job. Wish I could help. Which they knew meant no, no, no. But then Mr. Green stopped to talk. I work construction, and I can maybe get some scrap lumber and some sand for a sandbox. Really? Kamala said. Yes, exclaimed Maya. Okay, I'll try. It wasn't a yes, but right now maybe was the sweetest word they had ever heard. Maybe gave them hope. The next weekend maybe turned into yes. The kids all helped measure, and Mr. Green cut the boards. Then they sanded and hammered and sanded some more. Then came the actual sand. They were all thanking Mr. Green when Miss Lopez stopped to talk. I work at a garage. Maybe they have an extra tire for a teeter-totter. Another maybe. 
In the weeks that followed, lots of I don't knows turned into maybes and then yeses. No one can do everything, but everyone can do something. Kamala and Maya wanted everyone to celebrate the new playground, so they made another big poster inviting their neighbors to a potluck party. There were hot dogs and hummus, spicy chicken and potato salad, strawberries and brownies and lemonade. Mrs. Flores set up a sprinkler for the kids to run through. Mr. Green brought the music. Kamala admired the new playground, but she noticed there was still one thing missing. No one knew how to make a slide, but Miss Flores knew where they might buy one. I teach at Emerson Elementary, and they are redoing their playground. Maybe you could buy the old slide. This was a different kind of maybe. A how can we afford that maybe? But now everyone was trying to find a way to turn that maybe into a yes. These brownies are delicious. Maybe we could have a bake sale. We can all bring toys and books and have a sidewalk sale. No one could do everything, but everyone could contribute something. When the slide, slide arrived at last, Maya and Kamala got the first ride. The landlord was impressed. I want to shake your hands, girls, he said. You did a good job. You all did a good job. Kamala Maya had an idea. It was a very good idea, and a very big idea. And with a lot of help, they made it happen. Hooray for Kamala and Maya! Hooray for the Persisters! What's next, Kamala? Kamala, looking up, said, I'm wondering what the view is like from the roof. And here's some pictures of when they were younger. Here's one picture. There's another on their bikes. When they're even littler. And that's them now. So Kamala's niece actually wrote this book. So, what do you think her niece was trying to teach you? Okay, have a great rest of the day. I will see you later. Bye.